Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I got my boxy charm. So it is February 12th and it just came today. I did pop it open to take a look at what I could already put on my face or what I needed to put on my face. So um, I'll just tell you that I have foundation on, I have some bronzer, bronzer um, and I did my eyebrows and like powder, you know, just to set. But let's dive into this and see what I got this month. So the first product I got that I'm really excited about but I can't put on my face right now is NPS. I didn't open any of the packages, so I haven't looked at colors or anything like that. But anyway, this is the Saturday Skin Yuzu Vitamin C Sleep Mask. And number one, I love vitamin C. Number two, I really like sleep masks because you can put them on top of your products that you already, already use. My issue, I will say, just from a logical standpoint, and I'm sure some dermatologists can explain this, but I can't understand. I'm just going to keep opening this and making a bunch of noise while I'm trying to talk. Anyway, um, I'm sure a dermatologist can explain this. I don't get how it's all seeping into my face if I have all these other products underneath, but hey, let's pretend we understand that. Look at this container. I love it. This little happy yellow, like how fun is this? Now I will tell you when I'm glancing at this, there's a lot of, a lot of wasted space, but looks pretty. Oh my goodness gracious. Is this true of all these products? It comes with a little spatula. So adorable. Should I open this? I'm, well, I'm gonna use it. So I'm not gonna use it today, but. Oh, it's like a cross between a lemon and a, like a kind of old orange. Does anyone understand what I'm talking about? Like an orange that you should have eaten yesterday? Look, it's like a gel. Oh, I'm excited about this. I'm gonna report back. Look at my monthly favorites because I'm gonna use this for the next couple weeks and I'll let you know how it feels. Really should use skincare for a whole month, but I'll, I'll let you know after a couple weeks. But this is nice, the little handle. Like, do you see that? The little lift to get this off is nice. It comes with a spatula. I got a little bit on my hand. And it feels, you know what? It feels a lot like the pharmacy one from the BoxyCharm last week that was just a daily moisturizer. Feels great. I'm excited. You're supposed to put this on after your moisturizer. So after all the steps, and it can be used up to three to five times weekly. And it says sweet dreams on it. Okay, I'm a fan of this. I like getting some skincare because I don't like spending a ton of money on skincare. There's some skincare that I use constantly. I think I made a skincare video. I'll link it. But um, other than that, I don't really try other things. So this is like a fun way in a boxy charm that's like reasonably priced to check out some products. And this product costs $29. So Saturday Skin is not a super expensive brand. And by the way, it's saying that it contains three times more vitamin C than any other citrus. Hey. All right. The next thing in here is this these are brushes. Oh, my girls are going to steal this from me. Glitter. Okay, guys, there is no way these brushes are staying in my collection because my daughters are going to steal these. Wait till you see them. It's unbelievable. There are... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is like a 90s child dream, guys. Oh, my God. It's glitter hearts. Actually, they, yes, there's glitter hearts, like confetti hearts in all of them. I mean, how can I use this when I could just do this with them all day? Okay, this is super exciting. So what brand is this? This is Glamier, Glamier, gl sorry, um, this glam thing. And it is four essential eye brushes, cost $29.95. Okay, so I have like a flat fluffy shader, then a, like I would use this for my transition. Then this one's fun. That's like good, it could be inner corner or um, shading under the eye, and then this angled one. So I'm gonna use these today because most boxy charms come with a palette and I see one under there, so I'll use that. These are exciting. I mean, they're gonna steal them bad. Next thing I see is from Wander Beauty, and it's a double date lip and cheek. Let's see. Okay, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this right now. So this, I'm assuming, is a cream product. Yes, it is. Look at that. Okay, that's one. Do I know which one's which? 
it's called top and the top is called sweet talker but spelled like a hotel suite <laughs> i love it and then the bottom is called swipe is one supposed to be for the lips and one for the cheek oh what i don't think i get it what's the box say okay so based on the back the crystal clear one is for moisturizing the lips. I have the Flower Beauty lip mask on right now. So I guess I'll pop that on top. And then the other one is a buildable color. There is a mirror if you need that. So let's put some of this on. Like I said, I have some products on. So it'd be good to see if it like wipes off any of my other makeup. This is very light though and quite orange. Okay, the color is showing up, but I will tell you, it doesn't move a ton. So I'm, my hands are freezing, so that may be part of it. But like I'm thinking of the Flower Beauty one where you put it and it does move. But I am enjoying this color, right? This is pretty. This will look horrendous on my lips. But we will try it for you. I'll try it for you. I like when I say we, and I'm only talking about myself and my multiple personalities. Not to be confused with people who actually have multiple personalities. That has got to be hard. Okay, I am feeling this color. That, like, doesn't this look like springtime? And I'm just tapping it with my fingers. I'm sure you could use, like, a duo fiber brush, but I like to put cream products on with my fingers. Okay, that I think is really pretty. Let's see what it does to my lips. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no to that, but I'll put some of the gloss. The gloss feels good. Should I put the gloss on my cheeks? Okay. We're just going to pretend that looks fine, but let's put some of this gloss on my cheeks, like as a highlight. Do I want to do that? Why, why did I put it on my nose? Okay. I'm not really going to get down with this lip color, but I am loving that blush. This is fun. I like that there, I don't mind that there's the clear gloss. I mean, this really needs a lip liner. Do I have one of those? I don't have one of those at the moment. Let's hope that in the eyeshadow palette, I can grab a shade to kind of darken this up, but this is fun. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say yay for that. Okay, what else is in this box? So there is the satin, oh wait, the Wander Beauty is $22. Okay, this is the Satin Luxe Limited Edition Liner Duo. And the price of this little puppy is, what? $40? What? Oh, hey, it's a lip liner. Oh, I get two. Maybe if this is wonderful, maybe it's worth $40. Okay, what do I have here? I have a creamy hydrating formula. Um, achieve fuller lips by overlining. Okay, let's see. So one of them is called Love Letter. Oh, the names. Oh, no just came off for a 20 buck liner I was just using a five dollar liner and I loved it I'm mad about this okay we have a problem friends because this is not a sharp this is sharpenable I guess what okay well let me show you the color this is a color that's a great color Okay, let me just scratch my lips a little bit. Hang on. I don't know if this is making it better. Okay, I'm going to try to sharpen that later. The other color, let's hope it doesn't break, is called Secret Admirer. Okay, much deeper. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Deeper and cooler. I'm here for it. Let's try this one. 
This is pretty fancy packaging for it not to be automatic, like a twist up. It kind of reminds me of the ColourPop packaging. Can you tell? And because of the packaging, I'm just a little concerned of how easy it is to sharpen that. If any of you have the ColourPop liners, I've always had trouble sharpening them. Okay, so I have three different colors on. We now have a pink, pink peach. I mean, a peachy brown happening. But this feels fine, but $40 for two when one breaks the minute you get it, mm, not so happy. Okay, so the last thing is an Ace Beauté, I believe is how you pronounce this, how I've heard it, the Nostalgia Palette. There's 15 colors. This is supposed to be $38.99. So this is the outer packaging. That's pretty. It's called Nostalgia. I love it. It says it's supposed to perhaps will make you feel nostalgic about some awesome past fun times. Let's see what's in it. The inner packaging is the same as the outer. I can't wait to watch that reaction over again. What? What is this? I don't know what I was expecting. But it wasn't this. Holy Maloney, this is bright. Okay, does have really cute names. Let's go over them. So it has beach. That's cute. I'll I'll um I'll swatch some of these. But there's beach. That's a great name. Popsicle. True. Star. What? Stargazing. Like it. Theme park. Very cute. Water slide. I love it. Heat. Raspberry picnic camping the dog this one's fun flower vacation flip-flops love that carnival or carnival and hiking okay i like the idea let's swatch my so i'm gonna swatch this crazy picnic shade Whoa. camping pretty raspberry oh love that this is hiking. So these are four matte shades. Let me grab four shimmers. It seems actually there's only three shimmers in this whole palette. Now that's interesting. I don't know why I would think that with nostalgia, I'd have some more shimmers, but. So this is stargazing, heat, and fun. Those are the only shimmers in the whole palette. So, you know, besides my insane react, doesn't this look like Sherbert? Um, besides my crazy reaction when I first saw this, it might be interesting that there there's more there are more mattes than there are shimmers. So here are these. So let and I'll do one more. Let me pick one that's a little bit more neutral. This is the color heat. All right, so let's try a look on my eyes. I'm not gonna do like tutorial style. I'm just gonna pop this on my eyes and see how it looks. And um, yeah, so let's speed this little puppy up. And I'm gonna use the brushes. Maybe I should talk to you about the brushes. I lied. We're not gonna speed it up. So. I'm going to take the one that's a little fluffier and rounded. It's going to be, you know, pretty tight packing. Um, and I'm going to start with color beach, which is the neutral. Let's do this as a little powdery. Let's do this as a transition shade. I'm going to switch. I'm going to use this brush instead, the flat kind of shader. I think I could just have a little bit more mobility so we don't have to sit here forever. I've never used these shadows today, so I'm definitely just giving you a quick first impression. I don't really see anything with that shade, but it could just be that it literally matches my skin tone. So do you see, do you see any difference? All right, let's go. Let's do a little transitioning. Let's go to flower. I definitely got, oh, that one's hardly powdery. Definitely got pigment on the brush. This looks slightly, I don't want to call it bright, but it's a little bit more bright than uh, it looks in the pan, but just slightly. I should probably clip my bangs back. I'm sorry. Okay. So that was all with this first brush. It's working well. Now I'm going to switch to back to that small little shader and we're going to go into the color raspberry. I'm going to pack that in my outer corner. It's definitely, this one's a little bit more powder, powdery, but it's definitely 
showing up on the brush. Oh, these are blending very easily. <gasps> Wait. Mm. So great. Gotta love when your makeup shows you your crow's feet. Didn't know you were there, little buddy. Didn't know you were there. Thanks. I really think this is going well with my lips. Really bright. But nice. Okay. Going back to the original brush, back into heat, just for a little bit of, I'm sorry, flower, for a little bit of blending. Okay, I don't usually bring my shadow up that high, but let's continue. So I'm feeling the color heat, I keep mentioning it, so let's put that, whoa, wait a minute, whoa, it's staining. This is the kind of shimmer that seems to stick, like wherever you're gonna put it, seems like it's sticking there. Like not very mobile. Okay. This is, this is a lot. Okay, you see how often I tap my brush off? I'm going to say this palette probably needs to be put on before you do your uh, face makeup. All right, so let's take this little guy. Do you see how much like I am... I got a lot of colors going on. Um, and I'm going to put, what do we want to happen in that inner corner? I'm gonna put this, this gold fun shade. Okay. And then I'm gonna keep using that brush. I'm gonna put heat in the lower rim. Okay, um, I think I just wanna anchor this look a little bit with a little bit of hiking. This brown, matte brown in the outer corner. I'm just gonna wipe off this brush that is thoroughly stained with the raspberry shade. Okay, let's put liner on and mascara and then we'll assess. Okay, so here is the finished look. What are our thoughts? I mean, I'll tell you what I think. Number one, I got a little excited with the colors. Um, I think this is a palette that can go quickly into this without much effort, which is great for the pigmentation, um, but you have to like be loving this color story because it's it's very bright, obviously. Um, I don't know, let me know your thoughts. I do think liner and mascara always make things better. I think they named this properly, like as far as nostalgia and like, I don't know what, what I was thinking. I, I think I was expecting a neutral palette. I don't know why. Um, this is the second really bright palette I've gotten from BoxyCharm. Uh, there was one in November, November's palette and then this palette, I just started this in November. So November and February were very bright. And then there was a semi-neutral, but not really last month. So um, I, I think I want a neutral palette next time. Not that anyone's listening, but that's kind of what I want. I will say that the color carried down. Like, I don't think I put my brush there and it carried down. I mean, I must have, but um, I couldn't control the color as much as I usually am able to with other, with other palettes. Um, but, you know, it's fun to put on and take off. So anyway, um, out of the things that I got, what am I most excited about? I'm super excited about this sleeping mask. I love vitamin C. This was cool packaging. I'm really excited for that. I am really excited for the Wander Beauty blush. I think that is so pretty and has that nice glow on it. I'm really very happy about that. I don't know about the lip liners. I mean, I just made a concoction kind of here on my lips. 
I'll let you know. My favorite are either ColourPop or Charlotte Tilbury, very different price points, but they are my favorite. And then I really like these brushes. I just don't think I'm gonna get the chance to keep them. I think my daughters are gonna steal them real fast. And why did we have daughters? So we can give them our stuff. That's what I think. Anyway, so I think kind of the duds a little bit are the liners, but maybe that's more because of mine broke. And I would say this palette, I'm not, I'm not totally sure of. I need to play around with it a little bit more. I'm interested in what this green looks like because that's sometimes a really hard color to pull off, although super pigmented. So if you're looking for something pigmented and you get the box, I think you're gonna be great. Like, let's see this flip-flop color. I, I mean, there is some fun stuff happening here. So, you know, if you're into, let's see, camping. I do think there's some good good colors here. I think I probably just need to learn how to play with them a little bit more. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend, a wonderful Valentine's Day. I have a video coming up tomorrow, so come and check it out. And a great President's Day, because I think that's coming up too. Bye, everybody.